everyone. My name is Julie from Julie's Boutique. This is a brief tutorial to help you with setting up your very own online business. However, before you begin your business, I would strongly suggest that you set up a PayPal account. This will allow you to accept payments from your customers directly via PayPal. You can have those funds directly deposited into your own bank account, or you can allow the funds to remain on your PayPal business card. But either way, you really need to take advantage of PayPal um, to get started. We, I just, we simply can't list all the advantages of it, but you need a PayPal account before you start anything. So that's number one, okay? Now let's get into getting you set up. The first thing you need, product or service. What are you offering? What are you selling? You need to decide what that is. It could be a service such as um, your baker. Um, you're a seamstress, you provide some type of service to the community, or you could be a seller of actual products. Perhaps you sell clothing, you sell shoes, you sell earrings, you sell accessories. So what are you selling? What is your product or what is your service? That's number one. Number two, what do we call you? What's your business name? Your name should be something that's easy for customers to remember and something that they can find quickly if they go online, but it should also be a name that resonates what your business is actually about. So you come up with that one. <laughs> the third thing you need is a platform. You have to choose where your business will live online. And there are many platforms that are actually free out there that will help you to promote and sell your services or your, um, your items. Take advantage of these freebies, please. Take advantage of the free platforms before jumping onto a paid platform. So do the free ones, get your feet wet, you know, get your customer base, get yourself going. Then you can jump onto a paid platform once you've been set up. And a few suggestions on free platforms um, would be places like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Brisk Sale, LinkedIn, Pinterest, there's many available free platforms out there. And each of these platforms are currently being used by a number of businesses to promote their services and to promote their products right now. And some of these platforms even allow you to sell directly from the platform. For example, Facebook Business will allow you to set up a Facebook store and customers can actually buy products directly from your Facebook store. Instagram also has a similar feature. Um, it works along with other apps, but again, it allows customers to buy to buy from you. So look into these freebies before you jump onto a paid platform. Now, an additional platform that I really love is Spreezy. S P R E E S Y. Spreezy.com. This platform can serve as a storefront. For your business. Now it's an amazing tool because Spreezy actually integrates with um, your social media pages. It integrates with your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, your Pinterest. So when you post this item for sale on Spreezy, you just post one time, you click a button, and that item is simultaneously posted onto your other platforms saves you a lot of time, a lot of time, and it really helps with the sales. But what I like the most about Spreezy is that it is F-R-E-E -E free. So there's there's no, there it doesn't cost you anything, no upfront fees, no contracts. Um, the way Spreezy works is when you make a sale, Spreezy takes a very small percentage of that sale. And that's how you pay Spreezy and that's how they make their money. Um, I have my main website which is uliesboutique.com which is u-y-l-e-e-s boutique.com. However, I still also have a Spreezy page as a backup and that address is www.spreezy.com backslash Yuli's Boutique. I love Spreezy. Now, an additional platform that I absolutely love, which is also F-R-E-E, -E, is Square. Square is a wonderful platform. They, they do all the work for me. <laughs> um, not only does Square serve as a credit card processing center for your business, but it also allows you to create a free business website where customers can directly purchase your items from you. 
Now that, that's a good deal there. Now, I, of course, again, I use Square for my business. Um, our main website is actually a Square page. So if you go to yuliesboutique.com, um, then that page is actually created by Square. Again, Square is free to use, and they only charge a percentage of the sale um, you make after the sale is made. So it's a great way to get started without any upfront investment. Also, I would tell you, don't underestimate the power of selling apps. Never, never, never confine yourself to just one avenue of selling. There are some great apps out there that allow you to sell directly on their site, and they also assist you with shipping. They give you tips. They provide buyer and seller protection, which is very important so that everyone gets their money or, and nothing, nothing goes wrong. Um, and these sites are online, but they also have apps that can go on your smartphone or tablet so you can run your business on the go. I love them. And some examples of these apps are Poshmark, Poshmark.com. I, I use that faithfully. Tradesy. Tradesy.com and that's T R A D E S Y Tradesy.com. There's Mercury M E R C A R I.com. There's Depop D E P O P.com and then there's eBay.com. These sites are wonderful. There's no contracts, there's no upfront fees with these platforms. As with the other platforms, you make a sale and they take a small percentage from that final sale when it's done. And that's how they get paid. So there's no, and what's wonderful is this is all online. So you don't have to go meet some stranger and show them your dress or <laughs> go meet some strange man and show them your shoes. Everything is online. Everything is shipped out. It's all handled right at home in, in your own time. So, the final word is that there are many great ways to start your very own online business. Um, this is just a route that we took, but this isn't the only route. This is just what we took and it has worked wonderful for us. But, we're constantly making adjustments, we're constantly learning, um, we're constantly trying to improve. So, remember, if one platform is not working for you, try another platform, that's fine you will find what works best for you and what works best for your business. Thank you for your time. Until next time, this is Yuli of Yuli's Boutique. Check out our page, www.yulisboutique.com or send an email at yuli at yulisboutique.com. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.